Section 2, Use PAP Structure, Purpose, and Rules. Learning objectives at the conclusion of this section, students should, be, should attain the following. Describe the basic structure of USPAP. State the purpose of USPAP. Recognize when appraisers must comply with USPAP. Know basic appraisal terminology. List the requirements of the ethics rule. List the requirements of record keeping rule. And des describe the com competency rule. And list the requirements of the jurisdictional exception rule. Basic structure of USPAP. Preamble, the purpose of USPAP. Uh, definitions ethics rule, record keeping rule, competency rule, scope of work rule, jurisdictional exception rule, standards 1 through 10, advisory opinions, AOs, and frequently asked questions, facts are not part of USPAP, frequently asked questions. The preamble of USPAP. The preamble of USPAP begins by providing the primary purpose of USPAP. The purpose is to promote and maintain a high level of public trust in appraisal practice by establishing requirements for appraisers. It is essential that appraisers develop and communicate their analysis, opinions, and conclusions to intended users of their services in a manner that is meaningful and not misleading. The preamble goes on to then identify to whom USPAP was intended for. The ASB promulgates USPAP for both appraisers and users of appraisal services. It also states that the appraiser has a responsibility to protect public trust. The preamble also addresses when the USPAP rules and standards apply. An appraiser must comply with USPAP when either the services or the appraiser is required by law, regulation, or agreement with the client or intended user. Appraisers may also choose to comply with USPAP any time that a person is performing services as an appraiser. The preamble also addresses the importance of comments within USPAP. Comments are an integral part of USPAP. They have the same weight as the competent as the they have the same weight as the competent they address and should be followed as part of USPAP. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably they have the same weight as the content they address. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways. I don't remember. The definition section of USPAP. The definitions establish the application of certain terminology in USPAP. The definition section attempts to further define... <laughs> the dog has to go out. The definitions establish the application of certain terminology in USPAP. The, de the definition section attempts to further define... Pepper, come. Pepper, let's go. Go. The definition section attempts to further define certain terms as they relate to appraisal services. Words which have generally accepted meaning, such which can be defined through use of a dictionary, are not necessarily included within the definition section of USPAP. Certain terms should be studied for future understanding of standard rules 5 and 6 in USPAP. Appraisal the act or process of developing an opinion of value, verb, an opinion of value, noun. Appraisal practice, valuation services performed by an individual acting as an appraiser, included but not limited to appraisal and appraisal review. Stop it. Appraiser, one who is expected to perform valuation services competently and in a manner that is independent, impartial, and objective. Assignment results. An appraiser's opinions or conclusions developed specific to an assignment. Bias. A preference or inclination that precludes an appraiser's impartiality, independence, or objectivity in an assignment. Client. The party or parties who engage by employment or contract an appraiser in a specific assignment. Confidential information. Information that is either identified by the client as confidential when providing it or classified as confidential or private by applicable law or regulation. Cost, the amount required to create, produce, or obtain a property. Extraordinary assumption, an assignment specific assumption as of the effective date regarding uncertain information used in an analysis 
which, if found to be false, could alter the appraiser's opinion or conclusions. A hypothetical condition, a condition directly, direct, directly related to a specific assignment, which is contrary to what is known by the appraiser to exist on the effective date of the assignment results, but it is used for the purpose of analysis. Mass appraisal, the process of valuing a universe of properties as of a given date using standard methodolo methodology, employing common data, and allowing for statistical testing. Mass appraisal model, a mathematical expression of how supply and demand factors interact in a market. Price, the amount asked, offered, or paid for a property. Uh, scope of work, the type and extent of research and analysis in an appraisal or appraisal review assignment. Valuation services, services pertaining to aspects of property value. Value, the monetary relationship between properties and those who buy, sell, or use those properties. Ethics rule. Promotion and preservation of the public's trust is an integral part of appraisal practice. Um, observe the highest standards of professional ethics. Comply with the use PAP when obligated by law or regulation. An appraiser has an obligation not to misrepresent his or her role when providing valuation services that are outside appraisal practice. The ethics rule is divided into three sections, conduct, management, and confidentiality, which apply to all appraisal practice. Conduct section, general conduct. An appraiser must perform assignments with impartiality, objectivity, and independence without accommodation of personal interest. The ethics section causes cautions appraisers not to perform work with their own personal interest at the forefront. This ties an appraiser's ethical behavior to the stated purpose of USPAP, which is to preserve and promote public trust. An appraiser must not do the following. Perform any assignment with bias. Advocate the cause or effect of any party or issue. Accept or an assignment that includes the reporting of a predetermined opinion or conclusion. Communicate results with the intent to, with with the intent to mislead, engage in criminal conduct, willfully or knowingly violate the requirements of the record keeping rule, and perform an assignment in a grossly negligent manner. Bias is a preference or inclination that produces an appraiser's impartiality, independence, or objectivity in an assignment. Advocacy is defined as public support or recommendation of a particular cause or policy. Another way to say it is supporting, backing, promotion of, or championing the cause or policy of another. Lawyers and real estate brokers are great examples of advocates. Management section. An appraiser must disclose when he or she is being paid a fee or commission in connection with performing an assignment. Appraisers are not required to disclose the amount of the fee being provided. An appraiser must not accept an assignment that is contingent on any of the following. The reporting of a predetermine, predetermine, the reporting of a predetermined opinion of value, a direction and assignment results that favor the cause of the client sounds like advocacy, the amount of a value opinion, the attainment of a stipulated result like a loan closing or taxes are reduced, or the occurrence of a subsequent event related to the appraiser's opinion and specific to the assignment's purpose. An appraiser must not advertise for the purpose of soliciting appraisal assignments in a manner that is false, misleading, or exaggerated. Confidentiality section. An appraiser has a duty to protect the confidentiality nature of the appraiser-client relationship. When using confidential information, the appraiser must act in good faith with regards to the interest of the client. The appraiser must be aware of and comply with all confidentiality laws and regulations applicable in an assignment. An appraiser must not disclose confidential information or assignment results to anyone other than the client, parties authorized by the client, state appraiser regulatory agencies, 
third parties authorized by the due process of law or an authorized peer review committee except with disclosure to the committee would violate applicable law or regulation. An appraiser must take responsible steps to safeguard confidential information. Employees and or subcontractors of appraisers must also be aware of the pro prohibitions on disclosures of confidential information. Record keeping rule. Prior to issuing a report or communication of results, an appraiser must prepare a work file for each appraisal or appraisal review assignment for either written or oral reports. The work file must include the name of the client and any other intended users, true copies of all written reports, summaries of all oral reports to testimony, and all other data information and documents to support the appraiser's conclusion and opinion. Work file rendition. No, work file re retention. An appraiser must retain a work file for a period of at least five years after preparation or at least two years after final disposition of any judicial proceedings in which the appraiser gave testimony, whichever period expires last. An appraiser must maintain custody of a work file or make appropriate work file retention access and retrieval in the event the appraiser retires or moves to other work somewhat other than the appraiser must maintain the work file. If an appraisal, if an appraisal willfully or knowing violates the record-keeping rule, they will be considered in violation of the ethics rule. Competency rule. When considering accepting an assignment, the appraiser must determine if he or she is competent or can acquire the necessary competency to perform the assignment. If not, the assignment must be declined. Being competent, competency is reflected in correct judgment and execution. Correct judgment is demonstrated at the onset of an assignment. Correctly identifying the problem to be solved, uh, understanding the amount and type of data to be collected and used in an assignment, and having the proper knowledge and experience to complete the assignment. Correct execution is demonstrated during the middle of an assignment, understanding how to interpret the data collected, and correctly reconciling data and the approaches to value into a credible assignment result. Acquiring competency. An appraiser who lacks must disclose the lack of knowledge to the client before accepting the assignment, take all necessary steps to complete the assignment completely, describe the report, describe in the report the lack of knowledge and the steps taken to acquire the competency to complete the assignment. Lack of competency. If an appraiser determines they lack competency to complete an assignment, they must either disclose or withdraw from the assignment. Jurisdictional Exception Rule Certain laws or regulations may preclude compliance with parts of USPAP. When this happens, only that part of USPAP, which may be in conflict with the law or regulation, becomes void for the assignment. When compliance with USPAP is required by federal law or regulation, no part of USPAP can be voided by law or regulation of state or local jurisdiction. When an appraiser is faced with an assignment involving a jurisdictional exception, the appraiser must identify the law or regulation that precludes USPAP, comply with the law or regulation, Disclose in the report the part of USPAP that is voided by the law or regulation and cite in the report the law or regulation requiring the exception.